Greetings, turdlings, and welcome back to The Deuce. This is an impromptu PSA about the Rode AI1 interface. If you have this thing, double check that your firmware is up to date because as of firmware version 1.3.1, they did something with the gain structure that increased the gain range to 60 dB. They didn't just increase the gain range, they gave you a lot more gain on tap. Here is a sample of the Procaster into the AI-1 with my gain at 100% before I updated the firmware. And now I have shut off the boost and post. This is how loud the actual recording is, and this is the loudest that I can get my voice because my gain is set to 100%. And now that the firmware is at version 1.3.1, I have my gain set at about 245, and I am peaking around minus 9 to minus 6 dB. We have so much more gain. If I want to increase this to 100%, there is enough gain on tap to clip my A to D converter of the AI-1 with the Rode Procaster. Let's go ahead and try the SM7B. Now I am on the SM7B running directly into the AI-1, and as you can see on the meter, we're peaking around minus 3 to minus 1 dB. If I get excited or if I get loud at all, we can actually distort, we can clip the A to D converters. So thanks to a firmware update, we now <laughs> this thing now has enough gain to drive the SM7B, and you don't have to do any boosting in post. That's crazy. Okay, I decreased my gain to about 315 on this thing. This is realistically where I'd have my gain set to record the SM7B. I just wanted to make a quick video letting you know, if you have this interface, update the heckin' firmware because I didn't think this kind of update was possible. That's crazy. Hey, we just released an update. Now you have 60 dB of gain. What? Okay, if you found this useful, thumbs up, hit it, thumbs down, bye-bye. Whoa, whoa. Boop.